I'm a musician and I come from a musical family and the instrument I play is called El Oud, uh, the lute, which is the great great grandfather of the guitar. Welcome to the Kennedy Center series Arts Across America, December Traditions. My name is Ronnie Malley. I was born and raised in Chicago to immigrant parents from Palestine, also known as the Holy Land. Uh, I'm a musician and I come from a musical family and the instrument I play is called El Oud, uh, the lute, which is the great great grandfather of the guitar. Uh, to me, probably because of my background, uh, December Traditions uh, is a celebration of the connected faiths of Abraham, the Abrahamic faiths, uh, Christianity, Judaism, Islam. Uh, and it wasn't uncommon that we would go to play at Arab Christian churches with my family band and uh, hear hymns such as Because of Chicago's diversity, I've even been asked to perform uh, at Arab Jewish uh, services uh, at synagogues. Uh, uh, one piece that we play is. <laughs> pieces from my own Muslim background. <laughs> As an American, I grew up in the public school system playing a lot of Christmas carols. Uh, but the intersection between my heritage as an Arab American and my American roots uh, would also often collide in songs like <laughs> My father, brother, and I had a family band that played primarily for Middle Eastern and North African audiences. That was our repertoire. But the gig that you always looked forward to every year and it was New Year's Eve. And we would play New Year's Eve probably for 15 years. Uh, and two songs that really stuck out to me were uh, one song called El Leila Halwa, El Leila Eid, which means tonight is sweet, tonight is a holiday. Uh, and it's sung by the Lebanese singer Madonna, no relation to American Madonna. And um, the other song uh, was called Mabruk, which is an instrumental piece. And I just remember playing these two pieces for a good solid 15 years every New Year's Eve. Uh, they were the ones that really stuck out. Uh, Mabruk is a piece that's instrumental written by Ahmed Fouad Hassan, Egyptian composer. El Leila Halwa, El Leila Eid.
حلوة والدنيا غنوة الليلة حلوة والدنيا غنوة وانا لولا العيبة غدي تبقى غريبة وانا لولا العيبة غدي تبقى غريبة وانا كنت يرقص بالعصا والرقص يا واد Wishing everyone safety, good health, and a joyous December. And of course, a happy new year. 2021 couldn't come any faster. Hola a todos, I'm Alison Caro. Uh, for me, on top of all the fun jujus and the colorful Colombian traditions, the holidays are always an opportunity to sit together with my family. I like to turn the lights off, put some candles in the middle, uh, so we can chat, but especially so we could reflect on all the good times, the bad times, the ironic ones, the painful ones, uh, and all the challenges that the, that the year brought upon us, right? Um, but also so we could plan and we could um, think uh, for the new year with a good spirit, an open mind, and so recharge to take on the challenges of the new year. Uh, but that's me, right? Uh, what about you, Marley? Hi everyone, I am Marley of La Marvela, and the way that I celebrated New Year's Eve with my family back in Colombia was, of course, bringing in the new year with music, <laughs> laughter, dancing, eating bean soup or sopa de guandules from a totuma, which is an indigenous gourd, also, other indigenous traditions such as burning Palo Santo or sage around the house, remembering our ancestors, people who are no longer with us, honoring them and having good intentions for the new year. We will also eat 12 grapes at midnight, which will present 12 wishes for the new year to come. Here in the States, I try to keep similar traditions, um, different family, different friends, different things every year, but music, important, having the 12 grapes, burning sage, What about you? Hola a todos, mi nombre es Yanni, soy colombiana, pertenezco al grupo La Marvela y hoy he venido con mucho cariño a compartirles algunas de nuestras tradiciones para este mes de diciembre en Colombia. Una de, de esas tradiciones es que a la, el 31 de diciembre a las 12 de la noche tenemos tres papas, una sin pelar, una medio pelar y la otra totalmente pelada. Entonces, estas papas las tiramos bajo la cama a las 12 de la noche y luego tomamos una papa y se supone que la papa que tomemos así mismo va a ser nuestro año. Otra de las tradiciones que tenemos es que 
cogemos un huevo, nos bañamos, lo pasamos así el huevo por todo el cuerpo y a las 12 de la noche lo partimos, lo echamos en un vaso de agua y lo dejamos toda la noche. Al otro día alguien lo lee y así nos dice cómo va a ser nuestro año. Hi, my name is Amy Vitro and I'm a member of La Marvela. Growing up, my family traditions were always centered around food. All of my grandparents were immigrants. And from the Italian-American side of my family comes a tradition that I like to call the Anne Lasagna tradition, meaning that whatever U.S. holiday we were celebrating, the foods we would eat would be the traditional foods and lasagna. So Thanksgiving, turkey and lasagna, Christmas, ham and lasagna. Now, the way I celebrate bringing in the new year is by playing music with my love and musical partner. It started with a visit to my adopted home and my partner's native home of Vieques, Puerto Rico, right after Hurricane Maria. On New Year's Eve, we went up to the open-air gazebo on top of a house on a high ridge, looking out over all of Vieques, turned on the battery-powered twinkly lights we had brought, and started playing. We joined in with the quintessential sounds of Vieques, of fireworks, the crowing of roosters, and the barking of dogs, serenading the valley below and bringing in the new year. Para llevar esperanza a Vieques, Puerto Rico y todo el mundo. Every year now, no matter where we are, we play music to create love and light for a new year. Amor y luz por el año nuevo. Your turn, Velu. Tu turno. Hi, I'm Velu. And when I was growing up, my family used to gather together around the table to celebrate on New Year's Eve with dinner. We also ate 12 grapes that represented 12 wishes. And sometimes we kept money in our pockets that represented that next year we were going to have financial stability. At midnight, you will hear around the neighborhood the Año Viejos. They are dolls that are built with some straw and also some fireworks. And at midnight, they are burned to represent that the year has ended. Nowadays, I spend it with my husband and celebrate together. Sometimes we go on trips. But this year, we're going to be at home. Happy New Year. Ayer 
I'm Chow, and I'm Tom. So we are Dongxi, which means East and West. And we'd like to share with you our new piece called Winter Dance, and it reminds us that this time last year we were in Beijing, China, and had such a wonderful time. Yes, as visiting artists, we were invited by Beijing Language and Culture University for 24 days of teaching and cultural exchange activities in December 2019. The university gave us a very warm welcome. I was so happy to come back home, and it was Tom's first time in China. We were both excited. The first performance started while we were still having jet lag, and the lessons came one after another. But we really enjoyed everything there. <laughs> Besides the school time, I took Tom to meet with professional musicians and jam with them. It was so cool to watch these conversations. But something was more important than music of this trip was enjoy the life in Beijing. I sampled some fabulous Chinese cuisine, and nothing would be complete without chicken feet. And then I learned about gambe, which I thought meant cheers. And then I had some colon soup. I had a chance to visit Tiananmen Square. And see some beautiful Chinese women, and we did some fabulous sightseeing, and I visited a Buddhist monastery, and had a fabulous massage, and even celebrated my birthday there. Really miss my students. What am I? What am I? <laughs> That was the first thing I learned in Chinese, and I had no idea what it meant. It means, oh my God, what a big surprise that Tom said that. So now it's winter again. People there are celebrating Winter Solstice Festival. Which has a re really, really beautiful、uh, symbol of reunion. And we would like to thank you for allowing us this opportunity to reunite the American tradition and the Chinese tradition. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs>